Hi, it's Diane here at Creativation the, at the booth and lovely to do videos for Scrap Time. Always nice to see you all. Um, what I want to talk about today, I'm not actually making anything. I'm going to talk about my dialogue line. This is the dialogue line here. Some of you may know these as traveller's notebooks or Midori's etc. They've been around a long time. I've used them for years and years and years um, and I've come out with my own. You can just, if you see at the back where it all is there, of all the separate notebooks and covers. So I'm going to talk you through that. I'm going to talk you through the different books, how the system works and show you how it all comes together. Okay. So there's actually eight books. I've called it the dialogue because I have the diary and dilusions and die cuts. So I just thought, oh, dialogue fits in. So I have eight separate notebooks. Now, when I've used these before, I've used lots of different makes. I've, it's the, I've always been upset with the paper. The paper's never been very thick. It's more like a, a composition book or a notebook, which is fine for taking notes, but I use them thicker. So the beauty of these are, is, every one of them is in my mixed media cardstock. So it's really good quality cardstock. So let's go through them. I have a handwriting line one, you can see. So, because calligraphy is massive at the moment and I collect quotes. So we've got the little handwriting lines. We have a grid the grid one we have this oh I know this has got stuff in but this is a plain one like the journals so it's I know we've already decorated in there that's handwriting lines I have a ready decorated backgrounds one that has all the backgrounds in I have one for the bullet journalists with the dots this is an agenda so we've got the Monday to Sunday and then the last one of the eight is we have a black one. Never ever seen a black one of these anywhere. So these are the books, the nice, thick and chunky. Nice, chunky books, really good quality. So those are the different ones. I'll just put those to one side and talk you and show you some of them done. Oops. So they're all, pack they're all packaged individually. So you can just, if you only like this one, you just buy this one. If you like a couple, you just buy those. You don't have to buy the ones you don't. So here's two that I've got, because also in the system we have covers. So we have the covers. I have two covers, this one. Now, most of the covers that I see on the market are made of leather, but obviously I'm, well, I'm vegan, so I wouldn't be doing that. So mine are canvas, the ca they're a canvas. Uh, it's all my artwork on there. You can see on the inside as well, and they have a quote. So we have the orange one, which is the dream. And then we have the blue one, which is I'm working, please kindly go away. And that has a quote inside as well. So the, they, they come separately. But I just wanted to show you some of the things. So this is the handwriting one. Um, and you can see where I start collecting my quotes here and I write a quote in every different colour and I like to write on the back as well and there's nothing goes through there might be some bad words in here so I'm just covering just in case so I write quotes all over so that's a quote one this is one of the ready decorated backgrounds one and you can see I can just put the stamp straight in I can draw in it so if I'm on the road and I can't get messy in hotel rooms and things like that the backgrounds are already done and then I can just go in and add my art to it these are some of the die cuts um, the stamps my quotes etc so there's all sorts these are some more of the die cuts that you can go and so if you're frightened of the mess that I make with my inks and paints etc this is the one for you oh that's not finished I do you see I do all the writing and I leave it blank and then when I'm on a plane that's when I fill everything in so I've obviously missed one so that's uh, the ready decorated one I have pockets as well which I forgot to show you I'm sorry because that's a pocket there there's a set of three there's one missing and they come like this again they've got all my artwork on the artwork I've left some of it I've doodled as a start but you can add to this you can add your own things on it's got little pockets and little slots to put things in so there's these two and there's another one um, somewhere not sure it looks like this so we have and they come in a pack of three um, this is another oh this is the grid one but I've actually used it for writing I use all of the <laughs> tons of mine I use for writing black one love the black one I have these I can't tell you how many of these I've got and again on a plane all you need is this and a white pen 
and I practice, I just doodle. People say to me, you make doodling look so easy. It's because I do it constantly. These are stencils. I draw in my stencils and then I doodle. This is done using the journal block. Um, again, using the journal block and the frames. So you can see I practice drawing in there. I do all sorts. And then afterwards I'll add, so you doodle, it depends how long my plane ride is, really, of all the different things. Um, that I do. So there's a black one, and that's uh, that's the right, that's the ruled one. So the other one was calligraphy calligraphy lines, and this one is ruled. What else do I have? Have I been through all of them? There's a blank one. You can, oh, let me see. So this is my ink, but look, it doesn't come through. It comes over the edge because I'm really messy, but it doesn't come through the back. Um, so we've got ink and paint in there. That's a ready decorator. Well, here's an agenda one. So here we go. So you can see I've got the Monday to the Sunday. And I use my stamps in there. I use, you know, or sometimes I'll just doodle. These are actually my diary stamps, but you could have doodled this. Um, and again, it can fit in. I've gone quite um, monochromatic in this. I've kept to a colour scheme, really. So, so anyway, so those are the different books. I'll talk about the bullet journaling ones later. But what a lot of people ask me, they say, what does the inside look like? Well, the inside, when they come, they're quite stiff, but when you've used them a while, they soften real, they're really nice and they soften up. But the inside looks like this. You have a piece of elastic with two ends, that that is your cover. Now, okay, if you put too many books in, this will eventually snap. So you're gonna to have to thread some more elastic through. Pete, don't be tempted to put too much in. Um, and then you have two elastics in there as well. So. People say, well, how come you've only got two elastics but you can get all these books in? Because you can put as many as you want. This is what you do. You use these elastic bands. So I have, um, they come like this. We have four different colours in a pack. And you take the elastic bands and what you would do is you would take two of your books and you can either do just the covers or you can just do the whole thing. And you take one of the bands and you sandwich them together. So you sandwich them together like so. You make sure that they're separate, and then back way up, and then you'll feed them underneath the elastic like so. So you've got two on one elastic. Then you'll take another book, and you can feed it through the elastic. So now I've got three books just on the one elastic. You can add more in there, but you don't. If people. If you add too much, you're in danger of that elastic snapping. And don't blame me when it does. But it's quite nice to take maybe two of the pockets. And so I'll elastic the two pockets. Oops. And then I can feed, and they can feed through any. I can feed that through there. So now I've got five items just on that one elastic band and then you can put whatever you want on there. And that's how you get your, um, you, cut, you know, to put as many as you want in. My covers are slightly wider than other people's because again, once you've got all those in, I still want the cover to wrap round. I notice with a lot of them, the, the books are protruding out where I still like them to wrap round like that. And then any of them will easily take out. You can take that one out. So look, I could take that one out. I could take this one out. But you just put in, so when I'm going to get on a plane, I just put in the ones that I want to. I always have two or three of these. And on the plane, I've usually got the ones I want to work in. And the other ones that I'm using are just, just around, just sitting around. So I'm just gonna show you the bullet ones now. Um, because I haven't made these, I don't know what to do with these. Um, but apparently, the girls in the office persuaded me and needed the grid ones and the dot ones. So I said, fine, I will do with them, but you have to show me what to do with them. Um, and I've decided it's not really me because it's very clean. So I'm not really clean. But this is what they do. You write your own things. It's great for the people who make lists. So can you see she's got the birthdays? That's how many people's birthdays are in... December and what else have we got in here monthly tables monthly log um, weekly log so they they make up their own templates they make their own templates for everything it's a bucket list here it's for people who love lists 
that was her she works for Angel. those were her personal days off so you can see so that's one this is another one done by Sandra who's one of my tutors and again she's done a, a month a January month overview she's got a little tracker here and then she's got the weekly so this is what she's going to do for the shopping and the notes and what I like about this one is she's got things like this books to read and films that she wants to see here are, she's put all the dilution colors so these are the inks that she has these are the paints that she has these are the pens and she's also got tapes in here as well so she knows what things she's got this is from Michelle another one of my tutors who's hooked really into this and she has an index apparently this is what you do you have an index of things it's a bit too organized for me I'm like you know I love it I mean look at this so she's drawn books and these are the books she wants to read so she's drawn them there and um, she's doing these daily habit trackers so this was eating healthy food for a walking so you can track things I understand it <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just I don't know mood tracker drinks tracker here you see but mine would be beer 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 cup of tea beer glass of water so that I don't really want to track that because you know but they're lovely it's just a totally different way of doing things a step tracker this I think was interesting as well as sleep I maybe do that so she likes this one this is the dot one apparently you don't do the grids in the grid one you do the grids in the dot one um, and then she has another one here which is more like her um, her diary agenda type thing again they have an in index so they number every page can you see and then if she's she'll write it down on here that's her month at a glance so she can go straight to the page um, and then she has this is this is what she wants to do in the month these are her goals for the month and then that's her first week there again with meal plans so whereas I've got my diary and it's all written out I think this is just for making your own format you just make your own format up look she's put her birthday in there um, and whereas with my diary I go backwards I think what did I do last week and I fill it in here they're going forwards which I find confusing <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> but you can see they're really cool to do and then she's got again look then she's come into a into the next month and she's got a monthly things so this is what I call the cleaner type. oh there's the pocket I was looking for sorry there's the pocket so at the show I just put all those in one so you can see it's nice whether you've just got a few in or whether you've got a big chunky one in um, it's going to be shipping mid-February it's not out at the moment so it'll be shipping mid-February and then it will be in the stores and I'd love to see what you do with it I'd love to see which books you put in there um, Christina's going to do a Disney one so I'll be looking to see that bugger bug her and say have you done your Disney one but she won't be doing it till March April but I hope you enjoy it um, I hope it's something that that grabs you and um, lovely to see you bye Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.